through the Northwoods League. The Honkers playing their home opener tonight at Mayo Field, going for their second straight win over the Eau Claire Express. One straight to the bottom of the 10th. Game tied at one. The Honkers walk off. Ryan Thiebert pokes one to right field. Otto Grimm scores from second base, and everybody go home. The Honkers beat the Express 8-7 in extra innings. The Honkers are back in action tomorrow against Waterloo. Now to high school baseball will start in the Section 1-4A playoff. Six seed Century hosting seven seed Mayo in the winner's bracket. We'll pick it up. Top four, no score. The Spartans take the lead. Jonah Allickson hits one to center. It is enough to bring in a run. That put the Spartans up 1-0. Later in the inning, we were a little late to roll on this play, but it was a drive deep to left center. It brought in two more runs as the Spartans extended their lead to 3-0. Bottom five, Mayo now up 6-1, but Century gets a pair of runs back. Jake Fratsky hits one through the left-hand side. That scores two as Century tried to come back, but Mayo beats Century 7-4. That means the seven-seeded Spartans are two wins away from a section title. They'll face Farmington next. The top-seeded Tigers beat New Prague 5-2. In the loser's bracket, John Marshall kept their season alive. They beat Owatonna 10-1, ending the Huskies' season. On the other side of the bracket, 3-seed Lakeville South ended 2-seed Northfield season with a 10-1 victory. Down in Section 1-3A, top-seeded Byron played host to 5-seed Austin. The Packers made it to the state tournament two years ago. Top 6, Packers down 6-0, trying to get back in the game. Bryce Fisher hits one to right field. That brings in former athlete Louis Teagan Hovland. But the Bears still led 6-1. The Bears beat the Packers 6-2. The final, Byron is now two wins away from a section title. They'll face three-seed Albert Lee next. The Tigers upset Jordan 5-3. On the loser side of the bracket, four-seed Red Wings shut out Faribault 3-0 to keep their season alive. And out in Winona, the six-seed Windhawks beat Casa Manorville 10-1. The loss means the Comet season is over. As a reminder, if you're looking for tonight's softball scores, you can find them on our ticker or on our website, ktdc.com.